Hey guys, this is Neil Who, and I'm back with another discussion video. Now this would be a three-part series, and it'll be about lack of re representation in art. The first one will be about body representation. Second one will be about minority representation, which is a broader term. And the third one would be idealistic representation, meaning the lack of diversity in content on story creations. So today I also brought my Crispin, so let's relax and discuss. So here's the first part to what I wanted to talk about today. This is a speed last video of me coloring the or line, creating the um pic, the thumbnail picture or whatever that represents what I'll be talking about. So anyway, so this is the first part called body representation, and what that means is I feel like on YouTube I've seen this a little bit more on like again Tumblr <laughs> because I'm. A lot of artists I follow are also have a Tumblr too, um, or Instagram. So I notice on YouTube, I know that a lot of people are young, or maybe they just, I don't know, haven't really practiced. Like, so I totally understand. But I feel like there is not enough characters that have, you know, different body types. I guess you can say. Because I feel like if you, I feel like with storytelling, I feel like a lot of times people, when they want to read, you know, create our characters or maybe stories, they kind of want to like look at a a person that kind of looks like them, you know. And I feel like um, it's not their fault, I guess you could say. People who create art on YouTube and shit, um, it's just that. I feel like on YouTube as well, there's not a lot of resources as well on how I like to draw certain body types. A lot of the videos I've seen about, you know, anatomy and stuff, um, their basic anatomy stuff is just awesome, but I feel like there's not many videos or, or whatever that go beyond that. Like, how would a person look if they're you know, muscles or fat were distributed in a different way. So maybe like a fat person. I've seen more fat people. Okay, fat pe like a fat person. How to draw fatter people? Um, probably like someone who's who has like a bigger neck or something. Or maybe they will have curves. But they're just fat. You know, bulky and shit. Not muscular. And you know, you know what I mean. Another. Um, I feel like another another body type that I've that I've seen a lot is I've seen you know thin people right or like you know muscular people or fitted people, but I I feel like I don't see enough. Um, I guess an erect, super skinny, like super straight body types. I kind of do. That's my cat in the background. Like I kind of do. But it doesn't feel like it's represented like if a person is super like skinny like almost anorexic or whatever. That's why I don't see it as much. I, I kinda don't see it as much either, even on like other websites, you know, like super skinny folks. Not like lollies or shoda, not that kind of shit. But I'm talking about super thin people. Maybe women, the, the lady character doesn't have gigantic boobs or like, no boobs at all, like super flat chest, so like I'm like manly, you know what I mean? I've seen, I guess you could say there's lolitas, you could say, oh, but there's like lolitas, so thin, but I'm talking about someone who's just thin, okay? Um, super, super thin, to the point that it don't really have no shape, if that makes sense. Um, because I feel like also people, there's also people out there, you know, that are just super thin. And I feel that they're not represented enough either. Or or whatever. But I'll be talking more about that when I get to um, idealistic approaches. Because again, these 
next few videos are all going to be linked to each other and they're all going to be connected to the last part because a lot of it could just be on one video but I feel like I want to separate it into two parts so I feel like as well with body representation on characters um not because you know people want to see more of that but also I feel like it gives a certain um draw more characters that are different and they're not the same um, or more subjects that are not like similar to what you usually draw maybe variety I guess you don't need to like variety all the time but well round an idea on how to prove on like character development not character development but like, character design stuff like that then I feel like art like character like OC artists or whatever or people who just draw naturally like random characters and like random such I feel like their art will evolve much more and that makes sense I mean I'm trying to do that in my art as well I think you've seen that a bunch of times um you just, just haven't seen me draw a lot of skinny skinny folks in my videos but I do I have a couple of characters that are actually really thin um but I just don't draw them or just show you my drawings because, again, I just don't have the time to record. But I do. Um, you kind of see it here. Like, how would I go about drawing characters are, like, naturally thin and shit like that. That makes sense. But, anyway. Um, yeah. I, I guess what I want, I guess, the YouTube community, um, hopefully to approve on someday, is we have more artists out there that on YouTube that like draw more a variety of body types um I've seen a couple of artists on YouTube that have done this uh, but I wish there was more <laughs> because sometimes in a way I don't know if you guys agree but do you kind of sometimes feel a, get a little bored like let's say your favorite artist I won't say names but let's say you have a favorite artist and they're always drawing the same kind of subjects now you know you know the reason why you follow them is because they draw something really good but if you like, like say your favorite, maybe if you see your favorite do something different, that's not normally what they do. Maybe, again, this is really more about characters. Maybe if they draw or develop different characters that aren't normally them. Let's say they draw boys all the time. <laughs> they draw boys all the time. And you feel like, well... I wonder if they know how to draw girls too. Oh, this feels so harsh for me to say. Let me grab some of my free encouragement. This is so hard for me to say. But I'm going to be a little realistic. I wonder if you guys always wonder does this person know how to draw anything else? Or, or the, well, can, are they capable of doing something beyond what they're doing now? That makes sense. You probably guys wonder about me too. Can you do something beyond what you do? <laughs> like, I can't. Um, but I don't show it. I can, but I don't show it. Just because I don't want to be a show off. I, I guess it makes sense. Like, oh, I could do this too. Me. But really, on uh, uh, my honest opinion, I feel like with some bigger name YouTubers, since they have a platform, I know like a big platform. I see many of the larger YouTubers. They have such a big platform, and they could use that platform so well. If they knew, well, and that they knew, if they, you know, variety their characters more, like when it comes to body types, especially because I feel like I always see the same body type, um, always, and it's like I wish I've seen more. That's that's, that's just it. I wish I've seen more. Um, sounds petty for me to say, but like, it's true. It's true. Um, because, like, what about those like, beginner artists out there who want to know, maybe want to see how their favorite artist goes about, um, on YouTube, characters, anyways, how they draw something, like, a fat character, okay, I'm gonna be using fat characters, because, yeah, because that's why I see not much of on YouTube, anyway, I see more on the websites, um, like a fat character, and they put them in the environment, and, you know, that's cool and shit, you know, they're not, like, fetishize if that makes it because again I feel like if people I feel like I guess people are the another reason why other us also people 
don't draw a lot of fat people, don't display them in a way, um, on YouTube, I guess. It's, they don't want to be called, I don't want to say, this is a bad term, but I'm going to say it anyway, chubby chaser? <laughs> um, because I know people, they hate when they see, I do, too, um, they hate seeing fat people in a way that's fetishized. And I agree. I totally agree. I just hate when I see a, a, a body, a, a person that's not represented well anyway in society, in Western society anyways. And, they, and artists, they put them in a much difficult way. It's hard to explain. Like, it's, it's fetish eyes, okay? Fetish, fetishes. And... Like, I don't want people to feel ashamed of that, you know, if they want to draw fat people, like, it's like, God, it's this alcohol is kicking in now. Um, I just don't want to see certain things fetishized, that makes sense, um, as well. Um, but it's okay, you don't have to. You don't have to feel ashamed of drawing different body types. You could draw short ass people, you could draw tall ass folks, you could draw medium ass people, you could draw, I guess, people who don't have um, a larger top or people with a larger bottom. You know what I mean? There's all kinds of body types out there. You, you could draw whatever you want at the end of the day. Don't feel ashamed of drawing different bodies on characters. M making your characters have variety when it comes to bodies, that's all I'm saying. And like I said, I, if, I hope that someday the bigger artists on YouTube will do this. Because us smaller artists that draw, you know, different stuff all the time. Not different stuff, but like certain body types. Like maybe curvier girls or maybe fatter guys like I do. Hello, fatter guys. We won't get noticed, to be honest, because we're just a small-ass channel, but if someone with a larger platform use that to their advantage and, you know, create maybe different characters or different subjects in their pieces and piece be paints and show it to the world, then maybe their audience will be like, Oh, this person's doing it. Maybe I could do it too. But at the same time, um, they could also let their... Uh, audience knows that it's okay to just be different in your art or whatever or draw different bodies or blah 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 and that's why it's important to be represented or maybe if you know or maybe if you know someone that's fat or super skinny you could also use their them as a chapter in your pieces too not like the exact person but like kind of sample them because that's what I do sometimes when I draw my non-normal characters normal body top characters. I hate that term, but I, 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 there's no other way to put it. Shit, you know what I mean? So, this video's getting a little long. Um, I know it's a little ranty and confusing and all, all over the place, but again, this is Christmas. It's kicking in a little bit. I only had a few sips and already I'm feeling it. So anyway, tell me guys what you think about body representation. Do you feel like it's important if more artists on YouTube draw more different body types? Do you think it's not important? Why one, or whatever. Why one, not? Or... Or you have the same pain as me. We wish that more people, you like larger YouTubers that don't draw, that that draw the same all the time. When we have similar subjects on the time, should they diversify their stuff? Do you think you or you want to see more people um, do different things with their subjects? It's, 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 it's a complex topic when it comes to body types. But anyway, put your comments below. I love to read and stuff. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next part when I talk about minorities. Yeah. <laughs> Bye!